This is Groovy and G, and welcome back to my Audio Finder tutorial series. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've put up a video, but I've just moved places and I'm now in London and look forward to bringing you lots of content over the coming weeks and months. So today I just want to go over a few things in Audio Finder just to kind of help people understand the best ways to get folders and files in as well as going over the database search and a few other new kind of features that have come in the new Audio Cortex release. So to start off I just want to go over the kind of best ways to get from folders in your finder into Audio Finder. If you've been watching my tutorials you would have seen me dragging files or folders into this device browser area. Now when you do that you can then hit scan, double click scan and your folder name or double click import and it'll either scan or import those folders. So if we do scan for now you can then see it will kind of look in those folders and it will extract all the files, the audio files into one long list and then you can then search this list and you can take files that you like and add them to your different playlists and just go from there. The other way you can bring files and folders into Audio Finder is to use the Finder selection mode. Now in Finder selection mode whenever you select an audio file it'll actually launch it inside of Audio Finder which is really cool but what it will also do, if you look in this library area, when I click on folders, it actually makes that folder able to be imported or scanned into Audio Finder. So if I just go say on Grime and then scan it, I've then scanned this folder and it's got some Rex files Can't there. You know, so we're on this thing. What's the man really saying though? I ain't on that. Some Grime vocals. So those are kind of the two best ways and the easiest ways to get straight from looking at stuff in your finder into Audio Finder. I personally just do a lot of dragging straight into the device browser, which I just find the easiest thing to do in my head, but I think the, the finder selection mode is also very quick. Now, as you can see here, I've actually just gone and imported these files, which is different from scan. The difference between them is when you import files, you actually bring them into your database in Audio Finder. So to bring files into your database, there's a number of methods. You can either import them like I've just done there, or any files that you've added tag information that you've rated or that you have added metadata information, they will also all have been brought into your database. So the benefit of having stuff in your database is that you can then use the database search to search for those files. So if I'm in this Grime playlist, if I just copy one of these DGV, if we just search that in the database, because I imported all those files, they're now all going to show up when I do a database search. Now what is really handy about the database search as opposed to the spotlight search. which So the spotlight search is going to search your whole hard drive the same way as if you use the spotlight search here on your Mac. But the database search will just search stuff that's in your database. So with the spotlight search, you don't really get any options. When you click this little spotlight icon, you can look at your recent searches but you don't get any other options than that. Whereas when you're in your database, if you actually click this little spotlight icon, you can choose to search by all these different categories. And you, if you've added your own information in, in the metadata, you can also search by them. You can also search by tags up here. And if I go and say base, then I can search all my base tags just using the database search. So it actually saves you having to come over to this area and go to base here. If you're in the database search, you can go tags and then search it there. So now I've explained how the database works and the advantages of using the database as opposed to just using the spotlight search. I actually want to talk about one of the advantages of this finder selection mode. I ain't on that. And 
that is that you can actually use Finder tags and kind of connect Finder tags to Audio Finder. So if you use lots of Finder tags for organizing your folders, you can obviously you can go into tags and you see I can scan these folders as I'm going and then quickly get, get into them in Audio Finder. And I can also, if I turn Finder Selection Mode back on, I can also just click through them, uh, the audio files, and use Finder Tags as a way of organizing all my files and folders, and use Audio Finder as a kind of more advanced way of previewing the files. So you've got lots of options there. One more thing I want to talk about with regards to these tags is that now in Audio Cortex, if I open this up, so what you can do in Audio Cortex, if you have some files and you drag them in to Audio Cortex, it's going to analyze them. And this sounds like column is showing you how Audio Cortex's AI algorithm thinks these files should be categorized. So they're all crash symbols, I know that, and it's kind of got them bang on. So what you can do now is if you select these files, and you can do this for a huge number of files, you can right click and you can go add classification as finder tags. Now, what this will do is it, if you come back to your finder and you go to all tags, you can now see it's added those files, those sounds like columns as finder tags. Now this is cool because you can then use audio finder to then preview all these files. It gives you another option to kind of connect Audio Cortex and Audio Finder. What I think a lot of us are looking forward to is having this sounds like column inside of Audio Finder to properly integrate the two programs. But whilst we're waiting for that, I think this is a good step in the right direction to creating a, a, some kind of synergy between the two. Okay, well, thanks for listening and catch you again soon on my channel.